The Ticket Cold Brew Coffee Maker uses an immersion polyester filter. The cold brewing method differs somewhat from others because it's recommended to shake the brew periodically. We put the Ticket Brewing Method to the test using their two core brewer and brewed according to our testing procedure. We found that the Ticket produced a medium strength brew of reasonable quality which could be expected from its brew ratio of around 1, 9. While the brew was quite smooth to drink, it wasn't particularly robust. We feel it's a good brew to mix with the milk base. The filter, however, is not so well constructed and can give varying results. The Ticket Cold Brew Coffee Maker produced a moderately strong bouquet and one of the better ones we've sampled. Crisper and sweeter notes were present, but somewhat subdued. Earthy notes, with acidic overtones, tended to be more prominent. We diluted the Tikka Concentrate 1, one with filtered water. While the Tikka had a complex flavor profile, it was more medium-bodied. Deep earthy or chocolatey flavors came through the most with a strong roasted flavor. A tinge of sweetness made for a light aftertaste and overall it was smooth and enjoyable to drink. Adding cream to the water dilution resulted in a more finished taste. With repeated testing, we found that the Tikka has a tendency to produce quite a bit of sediment depending on how you handle it. You have to screw the filter tightly into the lid and avoid shaking too vigorously. Though you can technically brew with the tikka on its side, it's probably best to brew standing up. We allowed the concentrate to settle, to can it into another container, and discarded the sediment left behind. The tikka has a slightly oblong base which tapers up to a round top. It therefore tends to fit most refrigerator doors. The brew decanter has a screw-on frame with a handle and a screwable lid that also attaches to the filter. The high-quality Triton plastic looks very clean and is also stain, odor, and shower resistant. The decanter is made in the USA while the filter is made in China. A key feature of the Take a Cold Coffee Brewer seems to be the full-length filter that maximizes contact with grounds. The grounds fill the filter and go part way up into the extender. It comes in two parts, and the upper extender detaches for easy cleaning, which seems to be its key function. However, we found it a bit cumbersome to attach the extender to the filter. The filter is a porous nylon polyester and allows for relatively good brew to develop. A filter replacement is also available as a separate purchase. The Triton Plastic Brew Decanter is a high-class piece of equipment and the Airtate screw top is well designed. The long filter, however, requires more effort for cleaning. The way the filter assembles is also a little cumbersome. Additionally, the sediment test shows that the filter is not so effective if you're careless when putting it together or if you shake the vessel too vigorously. While overall of good quality, there are more parts than we prefer. The Take Your Cold Brew Coffee Maker doesn't require any gradual wetting of the grounds. Just put 107 tick of grounds in the filter. It should come to 2 inches from the extender rim and you're ready to go. Then, you screw on the lid and immerse it into the pitcher with 7 cups of cold water. If you prefer metric, that's roughly 1,680 ml about an inch from the top of the vessel. After inserting the filter with the grounds, we shook the container and let it sit for 10 minutes. The brewer was shaken thoroughly once again before going into the refrigerator on its side. We shook the container periodically another four times over the 18 hours of brewing. This device therefore takes a little more attention than other methods, but overall it's quite straightforward. A key selling point for this brewer is its air date seal. This means coffee odors will not contaminate your refrigerator while brewing. There is also less oxidative stress, so you can store your coffee longer. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you were a little help with this video. Comment below.